Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I am Radar and welcome. So today guys, we will be working on Critter. If you do not know what this is, I do not know how you got to this video because nobody knows what Critter is. Critter is like the free version of Photoshop, so you don't actually have to spend loads of money all the time like a rich person. So what we need to do now guys, if you want to make a thumbnail, so what I'm going to be making is a thumbnail for this video right here. So what we want to do is go over to open up Critter. You see there's all these different areas, community, recent documents, everything. Recent documents are useless, don't need them. All right, but now what we want to do is go to new file. Now this is where you want to follow me. A lot of the time I'll do a file that's about this size, but I've recently found out that YouTube does not require a file that is that size and it's practically useless to make a massive file. Dimensions and width that you want is, width is nine, uh, 1280 by 720. This is literally all the width you need. Now you want to go ahead and create. Okay, and so guys, to zoom in and out, what you want to do is go ahead and click the plus and the minus, or you can simply come down here and drag this thing around. So guys, what you want to do is simply come over to where it's just about here, so you've got the borders, so you can just about see all of your screen. And so, there's a few things we're going to want to install before we do this. So, first of all, you need to make sure you have a very sexy font. People are not going to click on your video if you're using one of the boring fonts, okay? So you need to go ahead and make sure you go to Google or something. Okay, and so guys, once your Google is open, what you want to do is come over to this link here. I'm personally going to show you how guys to use this one here. This font right here is sexy. It's the one they use for Fortnite, I know. It's horrible, but it works. All right, guys, it just works. Click, I am not a robot. A lot of you may not believe this, but I, I am not a robot, I, I assure you. Now click download. Now guys, once this thing has started downloading, just wait for it to download and you have this thing up here. Just double click it. Um, for some of you, it'll be down here or on the side. It doesn't matter. Just click install. Personally, it's going to give me an error because I already have this installed. But all you have to do is simply click install and it'll start installing. Okay, well, it appears I did not have that installed. Now guys, want to come back to Critter. Now we are here. What do we want to do now? Well, we want to add in a background. So what do we want as a background? Well, let's just go ahead and make it. So we go over here and we go to... I'm going to get it a blue sunburst. Because if you don't know what a sunburst is, I'll show you. They're beautiful. Make sure you've got the right dimensions. Uh, uh, 720. So now we've got some wonderful little sunbursts here. Now guys, you can choose any sort of sunburst that you want, but I like to have my videos have a very, very weird background. So this is the one I'm going to go for. Go to save image as. Make sure you go ahead and put it on your desktop or wherever you want to save it, and then come back to Critter. Now you want to go ahead and go to layer. Guys, because each, each image that you put on is a layer. Each text file, each image, they're all just stacked on each other like a burger. Okay, so what you want to do now is go ahead and go to import export import layer guys because we're importing up like something on top of it Now you remember we've got the sunburst here Just click it and boom you see this absolutely wonderful pretty hideous to look at directly That is okay guys do not worry what you want to do is go ahead and go up to here And now we're just gonna add in our text so guys once you've got this here to add text What you need to do is simply go ahead and drag a box along here making sure you've got the text selected Let go and you have this so now guys what we want to add is we want to type in make sure you've got it on capital letters So you get the caps there you go and what else you want to write is make sure you've got this down here and choose the font that you want Remember, we went for this one right here the the banch Wait, was it this one that we went for? Um da -da -da -da. Uh, no, we want for Burbank Big CD. Blah, blah, blah. So now what we want to do is type in how how to use. All right, and that's the solution where I'm going to hold and make it go to slightly bigger, make it go to 16, and then bring this down. See how it looks? We can't see it yet. That's wonderful. So it's not actually in our view. Click save. Oh yeah, I can see it behind the screen now. Now you see, guys, we got this. This is slightly large for my opinion. So what I'm going to do is click Control T. Um, go ahead and zoom out because this is massive. This is absolutely massive. Hold shift to make sure the actual thing doesn't break. Bring the server, pull the server, hold shift once again to make it even smaller. Bring the server and hold shift once again. Let's have a little zoom in to make sure we can get it onto the thing. Don't worry guys if it seems slightly transparent at the moment. This is completely normal. What we want to do now is just slightly turn it slightly so it doesn't look all boring. Bring this down and then place it. So you go like that. Now guys, once you're over here, you see this over here is your vector layer. Right click it and go to layer style. All right guys, this is where we're gonna have some fun. So now what we're gonna do is first of all, make sure you've got a drop shadow. Make sure you've got an outer glow and make sure you've got a color overlay, uh, gradient overlay. First of all, let's go to the gradient overlay and click this gradient right here. 
Let's bring it down until we find something we like the look of. There's actually nothing here I like very much. So I'm just going to go for this one and click add. And now we've got these different colors. Go to the red over here and make sure you've got it yellow. Because guys, yellow is actually something in the brain that triggers a very, very good color and people like yellow. So make sure you got yellow. So now you've done that, click it and click OK and click close. So now guys, normally you should see something change here. It's completely normal if you don't. The change is opacity. And make sure you've got the blend mode on normal. This will make it actually take effect. You see? Now guys, it may look slightly weird in your opinion so far. Do not worry. This is where the outer glow and drop shadow come in. Now, because it's yellow, we want something that that's, uh, will contrast it. So we'll go for black. Black is a nice color. Make sure the actual color up here is down to normal and make sure the opacity is at full. Now guys, it's up to you to play around with the spread and the size. I'm gonna make sure the spread goes out all the way. I believe the spread is actually how hard it is. I go like that and the size I'm just going to make it slightly smaller make it around 10 pixels because that is just what's going to work in my opinion now guys we want to go down to the drop shadow make sure the opacity is up here make sure this is down to normal and we want to do is make sure spread is out large so now guys this is just going to make it look like that and boom we have that already how to use now guys I know what you're thinking the blue is slightly a bit contrasty against everything this is the, do not worry the blue just make sure you click this right here the make sure you click your background layer go up to filter and this is where the fun thing happens you're gonna click Gaussian blur all right guys and now once you click that make sure you click it to a level that you like that is probably not too much of a level I like it's gonna bring it out slightly more and there we go that's probably something I like it maybe maybe a bit more actually so that's something that I like to look off. Now guys, what we want to do is go ahead and install the PNG of the file that you want. Mine is obviously going to be Critter. So I'm just going to go ahead and find the Critter PNG. Critter PNG, there we go. So now I'm going to go for this first one right here. And so guys, once you've got this PNG right here, you want to right click, click Save Image As, go to your desktop or wherever you want to save it, click Save and wait for it to be downloaded. So now guys what you want to do is you want to go back to Critter and remember what I was saying about the layers and you want to add, go ahead and add in another layer. This layer will be, let's go import export, this layer is going to be the Critter image. Double click it and boom, you've got your image right there. So now what you want to do is click Control T, this is going to change it, make sure you hold shift to make sure, make sure it doesn't break its size. And oh bollocks, what am I doing? Whoa! Um, I clicked the wrong thing there guys. Um, to go back, simply click Control Z. Uh, or click undo um, up here. So what you're gonna do is click shift and make sure you're on the right thing. Bring this down and make sure this is right in the center. I'm just gonna turn this slightly so it looks pretty awesome. Put that right there. And now guys, you're gonna be wondering like, why it's like that. And remember guys, if you're wondering why this is actually like, for example, critters over the text, you just wanna go over to here because this thing actually works in a hierarchical order. So you do not need to worry about it. But if this one is above the text, then it means this is above the text. You get what I mean? So you want to bring this down below the text. So, savvy. so now what we want to do is go ahead and right click this and click right layer stars as well. Now guys, when it comes to these, you do not want a gradient overlay, but you do want an uh, outer glow and a drop shadow. Okay? So once you've got the drop shadow, make sure the opacity is at full. Make sure you've got it on normal. And then the distance, you want to make sure the distance is not far away whatsoever. Make sure the size is nice and big and the spread is medium. So now right here, you should be able to see that it starts to have that little effect to it. Something you can sometimes do is actually make sure the actual spread is all the way out. This can sometimes have a little interesting effect, but not always. Um, sometimes you might want to bring it down to about halfway. Guys, this is all about like experimenting and seeing what works for you. So that is that guys, now you've got that. What is it missing in your opinion? Well guys, there's one thing that a lot of people like to add and it's this thing right here. You know, you've seen in anime, I assure you, it is the, the speed um, effect. PNG. All right guys, this is this one right here. Oh yeah, you've seen it before, I know you have. What you're gonna do is sim simply click it and then click right click, click save as, click save, and now guys, I'm gonna add it as another layer. I know, this is pretty interesting. But what you wanna do is go ahead and go to layer, import, import layer, and then we're gonna add in the speed. Put the speed right there. And guys, you know you've got that right there, but something I'm not liking is it is in front, like the actual critter is behind that layer. So what we're gonna do is simply move this down so it's behind the critter. And there we go. We've got that like that now, guys. Now guys, that in my opinion is absolutely perfect. I like that. I'm gonna keep that and save it. So now what we're gonna do is clumpy click save, save as. Make sure you save it as a PNG. There's got all these different things here, guys. If you can't see PNG, don't worry, I found it right here. But what you can do is to simply type in the 
thing, for example, and type in .png if you want it that way. Now you have to do is click save and boom guys. Remember guys, if um, you want a smaller file, make sure to bring this all the way out to nine. If you want a large file, bring it to one. The only thing that is different is the, um, is the actual file size. That's all this changing because if you just compress it either way, you do not lose anything. So simply click OK and boom. Just like that guys, it is saved. If you guys like this video, do leave me a massive like. It does help me tremendously. And guys, I have a Discord server. You should join it. Honestly, I love talking to you guys. It is awesome. All right. And guys, if you want any more of these amazing tutorials, don't forget to ask me because I will obviously make them for you. And if you type something in the comments, I will reply to you because you're an amazing person. But for now, guys, goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe.